Alrighty, here we go. So I've had the I haven't touched this boiler since last year. And what I'm gonna do right now is do a uh, pressure test on it. So I've got this little pump. It's good up to about 140, 150 PSI before it starts leaking. So uh, let's see how it does. So first we'll start off by getting all the water out, or all the air out. I think there might be a problem with this fuel filter. I think it's leaking. I think that's from where the air bubbles are coming from. Oh, we're getting some water. Ew. Yummy. I don't like it. There's too many air bubbles. I'll have to fix that leak and try again. Alrighty, let's try this again. So I replaced the filter. And it don't look like it's leaking. So let's give this another try. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better. There we go. Now we got a nice constant stream. Let's go over here and see how it does. Alrighty, we got some leaks. Um, looks like it's coming from that. So we'll have to fix that before we keep going. Alrighty, I tightened that up. And you can see, it's got a good 130. And the pump itself is leaking out the seams because that's about as high as the pump will go before it starts doing that. And if we watch the pressure gauge, Seems like it's pretty good. Very slow pressure lost. Cause some of these compression fittings are weeping a little bit, but I don't mind that. And then what you do, you gotta test this. Woo. <laughs> Not bad. It only took a slight bump to set it off. And it's back up to 120. So it looks like this little boiler's still, uh, still pretty good. Especially considering it's been left outside for two years. Alrighty, hopefully 
I'll be able to get this thing running in the next week or so.